morning you guys i have not vlogged for a good i want to say like two weeks now which is absolutely insane because as you guys know if you watch my vlogs my or my podcast my cousins were in town from montreal so i took like a good two week hiatus break and i have not really done a lot for two weeks because i was enjoying the time with them when they were here obviously and then i just kind of was like you know what since i have a bit of time left after they left may as well just take this off too because since i started my youtube i have not taken like a full two weeks off ever because i'm always so strict on myself posting once a week etc and so it kind of felt really good to just like do nothing and take like a real break and not have to think about much i mean i'm always thinking but like it wasn't like i needed to actually like do a bunch of work so it was really nice and i do feel rejuvenated and i feel good coming back now so today we're gonna get back on the grind back into our routine or this week because i have not been in my routine and it really makes you realize like if you guys are just like burnt out feeling like you are just doing too much take a bit of time off and it'll make you realize why you do what you do and why you have a routine because like i realized that without structure and without a routine i actually start to feel like absolute shit and i only realized that because i took the time off and then i'm like my mental health just goes down it's different if i'm like busy like in the bahamas <laughs> or whatever but if i'm just like at home doing nothing without a routine my mental health spirals like i'm not even kidding you there's a direct correlation between me being busy me being active and like my mental health and i know that it's best for my mental health and for myself to be the happiest version of myself just to stay active have structure have a routine stay busy there's an importance to staying busy like honestly for me personally my personality type it's really important for me to stay busy in order to stay happy if i'm just rotting all day alone with my thoughts all the time i don't feel too good and my mental health definitely doesn't feel too good so anyways I will chat more to you guys about this later how i've been feeling and i don't know today's gonna be a good vlog we're just gonna get back into the swing of things and i'm excited so yeah it's honestly hard getting back like the thought of getting back is kind of daunting but at the same time it's like no this is what i need and so it's a really good feeling so anyways i just got ready for the gym so i'm just kind of getting ready to leave now and that's the vibes for right now it's currently six o'clock so we're gonna leave in like a minute or so but anyways i hope you guys enjoy kind of getting back on track with me this week and um i'm happy to be back and i missed you guys so much so anyways thank you for being here let's get into it also you guys look at this cute little workout set i got from lulu the top is kind of like a bathing suit top it's like a it's like a bathing suit top meets sports bra which i really love the color i'm obsessed with it's from lulu are you kidding me i feel like i don't really shop at lululemon often but i need to start because they have some cute stuff that i never really realized like this color is absolutely everything and i just it's perfect for the summer so cashmere shopping at lululemon more often it's so freaking cute i love it and then i also recently got this hoodie at abercrombie i have been on the hunt for a camel hoodie like this for ages now and um i didn't know that they were back in stock at abercrombie so we found them downtown so i'm obsessed with this hoodie too and the camo is everything i've been wanting a camo hoodie like this for like a year now but they've always been out of stock and if i can get like matching sweatpants i would love but i'm not sure if abercrombie makes them but it's in stock on their website right now so if you guys want to check it out just search up like camo hoodie abercrombie or hoodie and it's in stock so anyways I feel so good after this. I know. It's just been so long. I know. Like, we haven't worked out in two weeks. And it's like, nothing feels better than working out in the well, morning. Well, we've been, I feel like we've been on a lot of walks. Yeah, but it doesn't... So that, I know it's not like a proper, like, workout, but it's still, like, so good. No, it's so good, though. It's not like we were just, like, not doing anything. But like, I don't know if I'll ever do, like, full lazy time. Yeah, I know. Thank you. 
Stop rapping and re-offended You know when the track needs mending Too much mixing and brizzy You know when the pack needs blending Buy it, comp it, tell me shot and the gang's on spending You never beat that mash off one hand after the boot and your hands all trembling Too much cap I'm hearing Too much swag they're wearing And ain't bought no hammers, that's all backwards man, that's scary Shootouts in the winter, letting off spine and my eyes will carry My football boots been dirty, you can't rap like that, you ain't certain Only time I step out naked is when I'm fresh and I'm on sweet I know I'm a rapper, sorry to say it on me so recently you guys i've been kind of obsessed with making fruit bowls like yogurt fruit bowls and i just use this yogu yogurt it's literally just coconut yogurt but it has like really good ingredients in it there's no added sugar there's no added bs there's literally just like a few ingredients this is like the best plant-based yogurt because there's so many like additives and fillers and like other ones so this one is at least you know it's like not bad for you in the summer i love incorporating fruit into anything that i can and i love myself a good like sweet airy breakfast just something that's super easy to like make and then you're good for the day or good for the morning at least i just finished this i have a new one in the fridge so joel and i went to costco yesterday and like did a bunch of grocery shop i didn't film it because i feel like i always film grocery shopping I don't want it to get boring for you guys. So anyways, we did a huge grocery shop yesterday and restocked everything. I got some raspberries and blueberries and also blackberries because at Costco, they're just like the best deal for organic and like bigger tins. Why are you meowing at me? Guys, look at how big. Oh my gosh, they're like full-size cats now. Not really because they're only like six months, but you have to get spayed soon. You have to get spayed soon. Hmm? Did you guys miss her? She definitely missed you. So I'm gonna get a little strainer and of course we're gonna wash the fruit before I put it in. Hey, <laughs> guys, she can jump on the island now and she loves jumping on the island. Oh my gosh, this fruit just looks amazing. Like these blueberries are huge and you already know they're gonna be sweet. Oh my gosh, I love, I'm like obsessed with berries. Oh my goodness, I can eat like this whole tin in a sitting if I didn't hold myself back. But then this would only last me for one day, so that's kind of sad. So I try to restrain myself just because I could literally eat so many because I love berries so much. And then I'm just going to add some raspberries. You know, you won't like these. Okay, I'm going to go wash these and I'll be back. I've been using this Hempia granola. Apparently it has more protein because the hemp. So I love adding in little things that can make me have more protein. I'm going to try to make this look as cute as possible. Guys, Stupy literally wanted to say hi. Did you just come meowing at me to say hi to the camera? Hmm? Say hi, show them how big you are. She's feeding for pets right now. So now I'm going to put in some peanut butter. This is just natural peanut butter. The only ingredient is peanuts, so we love that. Peanut butter and yogurt with berries, I just love the combo. And it adds some protein, adds some calories, which is good. That's a sleigh. It just tastes so good, especially if you add banana. Oh my gosh, so good. And then now to finish it off, I'm just going to put some agave. Just drizzle it on since the yogurt is unsweetened. Add a little bit of sweetness. And that is about it. She is so yummy. Let me show you guys. And super easy to make, barely any dishes, and just a quick little yogurt parfait. So I'm gonna eat this and then shower. Hey guys, so I just got out of the shower and I wanted to show you guys, since I haven't vlogged in a long time, some new products that I got and have been using. And that has been a part of like my shower routine. So I actually just got this Rode, I ordered from Rode. I got their glazing milk, cause I was convinced, I was influenced to get this. Talia was raving about it, so um i cannot wait to use it because i was looking for like the perfect product to put on right after i shower in the morning because i don't want to do like too much skincare in the morning since i am now like washing my face twice a day once after the gym and then at night so i kind of wanted something really gentle that will just hydrate my face throughout the day and we're gonna try this out it's just like a glazing milk and i'm pretty sure it i don't know i honestly don't even know what it does but i know it's good so honestly this does feel really nice for my skin i will let you guys know how i like it the more i use it but so far so good and this is now like going to be my staple after shower morning product and then i'm just going to put moisturizer over this i love putting things back in the boxes 
when I first get them because I'm just like weird like that. I'm using the Milkshake Leave-In Conditioner and I've been using it for a long time now, like I'd say half a year. This just makes it really easy to like comb through my hair. It was like $30 at the hair store, so it's not that bad. And I just spray it in my wet hair. And yeah, once I comb my hair, like this is a really light product. So I can like literally douse my hair in it and it won't make it greasy or anything. It's just kind of like an after shower spray to make it really easy for you to brush it. I really like it and it smells amazing. I've been loving using that. For moisturizer, straight out of the shower, I've been using this Hemp Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon. I got it on Amazon, so it's in my storefront, and look at how much is already used. So when my cousins were here, I brought this to the house and I was using it and they tried it and they loved it. They all literally bought it. So did Madison. Literally everybody used this and they were like, what is this magic potion? Because it's such a good moisturizer. It's on the pricier side, like 20 bucks on Amazon Canadian, but it is really, really, really worth it and good. And I love how it's a pump, easy access to, you know, moisturize. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, I've been obsessed with this moisturizer and again, it smells amazing. So would recommend. In terms of my facial moisturizer, I just use this First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I've been using this for a long time now, you guys already know. I feel like less is more when it comes to skincare and stuff. And then I just use a wide tooth comb to brush out my hair. And since I got the keratin treatment, it's been literally so easy to manage. And I just let my hair air dry. Literally look at how easy it's brushing out. Like I don't, like there's no, no knots, nothing. So yeah, those have been kind of my favorite products out of the shower recently. And for shampoo, I just use the Redken All Soft. Honestly, I will put a bit of oil on my ends. I just have a little like sample size of this Moroccan oil. And I love taking a little bit of this and just putting it on my ends. And it makes my ends feel so soft once they dry i've been trying to look for a product to help me with my split ends because i feel like i get them so easily so let me know if you guys have any recommendations um and if you've tried like k18 because i've been wanting to try them so let me know if you guys would recommend if you've tried anyways okay i'm gonna get changed been here like all day on my desk and this is why i leave a blanket here because either to be or be near both of them will come cuddle when i work and they just love to sit here and then when i can i'll pet them oh my goodness oh guys i love them so much okay now we gotta get to work <laughs> i literally can't like they're just so freaking cute okay guys i just showered got myself ready for the day washed my hair which feels so good i just air dried and i did my makeup and this is like the first time i'm getting ready in a long time I'll get into this later, but there's just been a lot going on in my life recently. That's why I haven't been very active on YouTube, which is so rare for me. Anyways, I wanted to share with you guys, I feel like this is so random, but literally this has been a staple in my purse. You're gonna be like, what the heck? But no, like hear me out here. A portable handheld fan. Let me explain. We've been recently over this past like week or two weeks, we've been having a heat wave. Today's actually gloomy, which is like the first day in a while. But anyways, we've been having a heat wave. It has been so hot outside. Like you step out and it feels like you stepped into a sauna. Like it just like whooshes your face and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to start sweating within 0.2 seconds here. But this handheld fan has literally saved my life because when I do my makeup, when I want to look good and then I go outside, my makeup will be melted off within a minute. But with this fan, it literally keeps me so cool and it's a lifesaver. It's like carrying around portable air conditioning for your body and your face. It's the best thing ever. Since this fits in my purse so perfectly, I've been taking it with me on walks to the beach, just like when I wanna lay outside in tan, when I'm sitting out in the sun, reading, having this fan. I can actually stay outside so much longer and it does not feel like I'm going to get heat stroke because this actually cools me down so nicely. And also if you guys have a skin condition like eczema, if you know, you know having a fan on it makes it feel so much better. So this is actually really, really good for skin conditions as well. Also outdoor concerts in the summer or even indoor concerts can get really, really hot and disgusting if you're in like the pit or whatever. So bringing this to a concert or a rave or whatever, that would literally be an absolute game changer and you will not faint of heat. So this fan is the Jizu Life Handheld Fan Pro 1S and it's made with aluminum alloy material. It also has a lanyard that comes with it so you can keep it on your wrist or attach to your bag. It's literally the size of my iPhone so it fits perfectly in my little purses. You can adjust the wind power super easily on the dial and it goes from 0 to 100. And guys, the wind power that comes out of this is 
actually insane let me do a model moment for you guys so you can see literally what is going on like this thing is crazy you can also really easily turn it off and on and it's really fast charging and the battery life lasts super long and also comes in several colors which is super cute it's the number one top seller on amazon and so you know it's good the thing is it combines like aesthetics with function this thing is actually a game changer i stand her i really stand her and this is going to save my makeup and my face from sweating all summer long of course if you guys want to shop it the link will be in my description and we can all stay cool this summer together <laughs> anyways thank you so much to juicy life for sponsoring today's video i never knew that a fan can be so helpful but she really is okay guys i just got ready to go on a walk me and joel are just gonna go and get some exercise again <laughs> because walking i feel like is just so nice we at least tried to do one walk a day in the evening and it always feels so good and accomplishing doing it we work out in the morning basically on our asses all day and then you kind of want to walk it off at the end of the day so just have this butter aritzia tank on with my aritzia biker shorts gonna bring my little fan with me because i don't want to be sweating so and i'm also going to give the second one to joel because i have two because it's it's actually so hot outside right now but anyways let's go get a little bit of exercise these sunglasses are actually so cute they're from amazon and they're my go-to's right now obviously they're in my amazon storefront i have a good amazon storefront so if you guys ever want to shop click that link okay let's go She's quite cold in our house. I need to put my hoodie and sweatpants back on, which I will do in a bit. But that walk was actually so freaking nice. I didn't get hot at all. So I don't have to take another shower. I honestly hate taking more than a shower per day because I feel like my skin gets so dry and I feel like I'm stripping my skin. If I could take one shower a day, that's like ideal. Anyways, I just have some chicken cordon blues from Radiant Meats in the oven right now. And I'm just gonna make a salad because my dad actually gave us some lettuce from his garden. So I washed it yesterday. We used half of it yesterday and then I am gonna use the second half today in a salad. But I kind of just wanted to show you guys my homemade salad dressing that's really, really easy to do and is really good. So I just have the lettuce that I washed in here. I honestly hate washing lettuce. It's such like a tedious process because especially with homegrown lettuce, it's like really important to wash because there could be bugs and stuff. And I don't really want to be eating bugs. So anyways, this lettuce is so good though. Like you can't get any better than homegrown organic lettuce. Oh my goodness. I look forward to this salad so much. And yesterday when I made it, it was so warm. I don't really do much with my salads, honestly. I like keeping them simple. I don't really want to cut up a million things to put in it. I honestly just like salads pretty plain. Unless I'm having it as like a meal. But it's just a side, so. I honestly might go back to my house tomorrow and get some more lettuce. Because my dad has a lot. And I should have taken two. Okay. There's actually a lot left in here. I honestly can't wait till Joel and I buy a house and have a yard and we could start growing vegetables like this. Like honestly, I feel like I've been gardening since I was little. I've never gardened actually like myself, but I would always help my dad. And I really love doing it. And it's just like food for the soul, you know? It feels so good to be outside, to like grow your own plants. Okay, so for the salad dressing, I just add some olive oil, like drizzle, drizzle the leaves. Now I'm gonna add in just a bit of lemon juice. You can also use vinegar, either or, it's good. I'm gonna put some pepper, and then obviously some salt. And then the key ingredient here, I know this sounds weird, but it's mayonnaise. You know how like every salad dressing, if you have like a creamy salad dressing, it's gonna have some sort of milk slash mayo in it. So this is basically like adding a creamy substance. So it's not really that weird. So I put about that much in, I like a lot. Literally like that and then mix it up. And that is all. It's like a super easy salad dressing. I learned it from my dad because he's the one who originally made it and taught me how to do this. 
But yeah, there's no point in buying like store-bought salad dressings when this is so easy to do and it tastes so good. Like it's our favorite. And literally that is how it looks and that's about it. And obviously you can add onions, whatever you want, but I'm just, I like just doing a simple salad so it's not so much work. Okay, chicken's done. I made a little bit of rice just to go with the dinner. So now we have salad, chicken, rice. Joel and I bought this Japanese barbecue sauce at Costco to try it. And so I'm gonna put it over the rice and I think it's gonna be good. You need rice? Let's make our plate. Yeah, just a bit. I just have half a cup. Come make your plate. Okay, let's put this barbecue sauce on. I've heard really good things about this, and Joel's the one who actually pointed it out, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I've actually been wanting to try that because it would be so good over such plain rice. So that's a slate, and it's huge. So go to Costco and get this. It's, it's actually fire. The original Japanese barbecue sauce, and it was only like $10, I don't even know. But that is today's dinner. dinner and I just put on some Love Island. I finished the US and it was so good. This is, was like the juiciest US. I mean, I've only watched one season of the US. I watched season five, but I have watched season five to like 11 now of the UK and I'm only, I say only, what? I'm on episode 45 right now. I have been keeping up with Love Island and I finished the US one. I've been watching it all summer so far and that one's done now, but that was such a good season and now there's like so much hype around Love Island, but it's like we've been knowing it's been good over here. Now the world is just finding out, which is so funny because there's so much hype around this past season but yeah it was good so if you guys want to do i know i always rave about it but like seriously love island is so entertaining i love love island uk like i feel like nothing can beat that because it's just like so good just go watch love island if you haven't already and if you do please let me know in the comments love island gang anyway so i just want to kind of update you guys because i know i haven't posted in literally two weeks or longer now which is insane to me because i always follow a strict posting schedule and i used to literally be so anal about it and if i didn't post like once a week on a sunday i would beat myself up for it and i would think like the world is ending and it's been nice like freeing myself from that mindset where it's like i don't need to do that that's like literally all in my mind that i'm making it up that i need to do that as you guys know i took a week off because my cousins were here also i've been having like a lot of mental blocks which is what i wanted to talk about i don't mean to complain about anything because like i love what i do it's just like sometimes i get in my head about things and i'm very self-critical like i'm boring i'm ugly this that like sometimes okay we're not none of us are perfect i really never think like that because i hate thinking like that but sometimes it's like when you get in those moods and like those spirals it just happens and that is okay like life is not always going to be perfect and if you're always positive that's also kind of a negative thing because you need to almost feel the lows to feel the highs you know and um i'm all for being positive looking at the positive side of everything but there's just times in life where it's not really that possible to be positive all the time i'm very for like when you're not feeling good to like feel those emotions and let them out and then okay now you can say you're done with them and move on and that's kind of what i'm doing now so I feel like i've just been in a rut i guess and it's funny that it happened this past week because these types of ruts and stuff they really only happen when i take a break when i have vacation let's say if i went to like mexico or something like when i go on vacation i'm fine because it's like i'm occupied i'm busy i'm doing something new but like when i take a break and don't do anything like at home and i'm just like rotting all day for a bit and like taking a break vacation and not i'm not in a routine that is when i start to feel like pure shit and i've realized a pattern so they're not going to be doing that anymore one rotting day once in a while that's completely fine like obviously we all need those rotting days but too many in a row and like taking too much of a break and just sitting at home and doing nothing i feel like it's really unhealthy for me personally because i just get in my own head i start to spiral and then i just feel like my world is crumbling for no reason like i just was still so down on myself and i just didn't want to film i didn't want to post and yeah there was just like a mental block there now like today being the first day back on my routine night and day to how i feel it is actually insane what a routine can do for you when i was out of my routine i was feeling like pure shit mentally physically mo just every on every aspect just one day being back in the gym this morning and being active going on a walk again like 
second exercise of the day outdoors cooking dinner being in that routine getting work done oh my gosh like when I say I feel like a weight is lifted off my shoulders, it's so true. Like, I feel so good today. It, there's literally a direct correlation there. And it's like, now I know myself better. And I know that, like, taking too long of a break and just rotting all day is really not healthy for me. Unless I'm, like, going on some sort of vacation or I'm occupied. Like, when I was seeing my family, I was completely fine. It was just, like, that week after where I decided to just, like, take off. And then I just got in my head and spiraled and shit happened. But I feel like that's normal too and that's life and it ebb and flows and like I just wanted to like have a real talk with you guys and just let you know that you know I'm not perfect, nobody's perfect and um, yeah, shit happens. But now, like I said, being back, I feel so much better. I feel more creative already just by picking up the camera and starting and like vlogging again. I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it's literally just wow because it makes such a big difference in my mental health. Like when I was like rotting and taking my days off, I would wake up. I was scroll on my phone in bed for like an hour and then get out of bed go downstairs watch tv right away and oh my gosh that is like the most unhealthy way to start your day if you do that and it makes you feel good good on you but for me personally that is like the most unhealthy way to start my day because that sets me up for pure shit like bye literally bye that just was not good for my mental health if i do like a day of that a week could slide not days in a row you know my morning routine is so precious to me and being active is so precious to me living a healthy lifestyle like waking up not going on my phone right away getting ready for the gym starting my day setting a dedicated time to wake up because i also realized that the more i like snooze my alarm the more i snooze the more i sleep in the shittier i feel when i wake up because i almost like i'm oversleeping and that's also a problem too where it's like i need to monitor myself because i was sleeping like 11 hours guys like uninterrupted because i was waking up at 10 a.m and feeling tired like that is insane and i had i w went to bed at like 11 so that's like not normal you know so i was just like down bad I am such a routine girly and the busier I am, the more productive I am. It, honestly, it's just about also staying busy, like making that morning routine for myself, staying dedicated towards it, going to the gym and then having a to-do list for the day, having a plan of action for the day makes me feel so much more accomplished. It makes me feel so much better. Even just the fact that I went to the gym that day, did my whole morning routine makes me feel so good. And like, that's even enough. The busier I am, like the happier I am in a weird way. Like, obviously I can't just go, go, go forever and ever. But like, I literally realized like that, those like couple months, past months where I was super, super busy and I was posting like twice a week. Those months, I was so like such on a good level of happiness and like mental health because I was really busy. And it's just crazy how that works because I realize that the busier I am, the more happy I am, which is crazy. So it's just about like keeping yourself busy no matter what that's with. Planning out my days where I'm gonna get my shit done, but I'm also gonna like stay on track, plan things to do. It's just important to stay busy. And that's why I kind of just like think to myself, like it would kind of be nice to get a little job, like a part-time job. Then my schedule will be jam packed for the week. But why is that kind of a slay for me? Like, why would that make me happy? I take such fulfillment and enjoyment out of a long days of work and like getting to rest at the end of that. That is like my cup of tea. That is like the best feeling in the world to me. I don't even know what it is, but like as a kid even, or like in high school, whenever we would like write our exams and like finish them, hand them in before the summer started, that was like feeling of pure joy for me. And then I got to be happy in the summer because I knew I just accomplished all that, you know? So I don't know what type of personality that is. I think it might be type A. But I just need to be routine oriented. I need to be busy. And yeah, obviously, I don't get me wrong. I like my lazy days. But too many is just not good for me. Like, there's a limit on those. And it really makes me realize, like, being out of my routine, it really makes me realize why I do what I do every day. And why I like am disciplined in going to the gym. Because sometimes in the moment it can feel really hard. Like waking up at 5 a.m. feels really hard sometimes. Or most of the time it's like, oh my gosh, I'd rather sleep in right now. But it's like, okay, I could sleep in right now. But I'm going to feel like shit. Like the days that I don't wake up and go to the gym and, and don't wake up early. I feel like shit. There's something like that comes over me that just doesn't feel balanced. I don't even know how to describe it. But anyways, that's my little rant. I'm at the age where it's like I can explore and do anything. Like I'm never, I'm saying this now. 
Like I'm never gonna stop YouTube because it's actually like my passion and I crave to do it even though I do get in these ruts and these like cre like creative ruts where sometimes I just feel lost, I'm down on myself, whatever. Those come and go. Like that's just, it happens, it's gone and now like I'm back. Like once I'm in my routine again, I'm craving to make YouTube videos. Like it's just because I F myself over. I can handle YouTube while also handling something else. So not sure what that something else is going to be right now, but I just need to keep myself really busy and I'm going to take you guys along for whatever that looks like. Yeah, especially for like the winter months too. I just really want to keep myself busy since it's going to be raining. Oh, I already know it's going to be raining so much in the winter like it does every year here. So it's like I just need to make sure this winter I keep busy and um, all will be well. All will be well up here. So that is my little update and I also just want to spend more time outside this summer. I feel like this summer has been going by so fast. Like how is it pretty much the first week of August is over? That's insane. And it's just flying by like everything always flies by and I act shocked like it's never happened before but this summer is really going fast and um, the time with my cousins was so amazing and so great but it went by pretty fast and I already missed them. Now it's already August and like what the hell, like literally what the hell. So just gotta appreciate every single present moment because time flies and that's what I've been trying to do is just be grateful for every moment and just like live in the present. I just wanna spend as much time as I can outside this summer because I know this good weather's not gonna last forever. So yeah, anyways, I know I, if you guys watch my podcast, I did talk about this a bit on my podcast already. So sorry if it's a bit repetitive, but I had to, let you guys know on here as well in case you don't watch my podcast but anyways thanks for the chit chat guys um i'm gonna continue this vlog tomorrow so thank you for listening and i'm gonna like kind of just clean up the kitchen because another thing i've been doing is just like cleaning up the kitchen before bed so that when i wake up in the morning everything is just tidy and clean because i hate waking up to a messy house so i'm just gonna clean up the couch clean up the island and just make everything look clean and nice for the mornings that just like also affects my mood waking up to a nice clean house so just gonna do a bit of tidying and then go to bed but thank you for listening to that i love you guys so much good night see you tomorrow Choopy. <laughs> <laughs> literally the most perfect sourdough loaf loaf rating right now i'd say mm, seven out of ten tails not tucked properly paws are a little bit out sorry girl i know you could do better than that <laughs> Bean, 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 a literal loves and obsessions. I think this is so gross, but we stumbled upon pickled eggs. Sorry, I'm talking loud. There's like so many noises going on. But we're like, you know what? Why don't we try them? And you guys, they are actually good. Like I'm not even kidding you. And they're just pickled in vinegar. And they basically just taste like vinegary boiled eggs, but it's actually like really good because I sometimes crave like pickles and something vinegary. 
And so these are so good and they're easy. They're preserved. I am a pickled egg stan now. I know it might sound disgusting, but trust me, like try it before you bash it because this is actually a sleigh, guys. And in the morning, I've just been having one and it's so good, okay? It's so good with my breakfast. This is the brand if you guys want to look for them. We found them at Costco. It was only like $10, so they're pretty cheap and it comes with like 20 eggs in here, so it's a sleigh in my books. So anyways, that's literally all that I do with it. Guys, I'm so excited because Peak Life sent me a PR package and I have been literally wanting to try their stuff for so long now. I'm so excited, so I just wanted to give you guys a bit of a haul. Um, so this is their Sun Goddess Matcha Radiant Skin Energy and guys, their ingredients are so, so, so good in their products. This is their BT Fountain Useful Skin Deep Hydration. And if you hear, let me show you guys their ingredients. Calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium, and then you got coconut water powder, pink Himalayan salt, organic yuzu raspberry, and other natural flavors, beet juice powder, monk fruit. So their ingredients are really, really good, and they're like a drink. If you guys never heard of them, they come in like little packets. Um, you could see in here. They come in little packets and then you put them in water. So I'm actually gonna have one right now. And then they also sent me their Andica Adaptogen Coffee Mushroom Energy Metabolism Mood. And in here they literally use fruiting body mushrooms. So they have lion's mane, cordyceps, shaga, reishi, shaga powder, list goes on. And then they also have a bunch of other good ingredients. There's fermented green tea in here fermented black tea i don't know guys i'm so excited to try other products because everything is certified organic i've just been really excited honestly i think i manifested this because i have been wanting to try them so bad so thank you so much to peak life for sending these over i'm gonna try their youthful skin run right now and i'll let you guys know how it is okay just got my little cup out i'm gonna do the like i said youthful skin on comes with a lot of packets like look at how much are in here so let's take a little one out and you're supposed to mix it with 12 to i think it said 16 ounces of water yeah so that's like two cups oh my god it smells so good and it's pink oh because they put the pomegranate juice powder in here so at least you know it's like not artificial you know oh my gosh it looks so pretty now let's taste it that's really good it's not like very sweet at all but it has like the perfect amount of sweetness where it's not like too overwhelming. It's actually really, really good. So this is a sleigh. Thank you so much, Peak Life, for sending me these. And I put this hoodie back on, guys, because I am obsessed with it. I want to order more from Abercrombie because this material, this is like my favorite hoodie I've ever gotten. And I got it in a size medium for reference. So I might order like different colors from their website, but I love it. Cheers. I'm going to drink this. And this kind of actually matches my little strawberry shorts. So that's a cute. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just got ready for the day. We are recording the podcast today. So I wanted to look cute. It's still really early in the morning. We're doing it early today because Talia needs to work later. And so um, we're gonna get it done early and then I'm actually going to the beach today, which I'm really excited for. Actually, it's like a lake, it's not like a beach, but I've just been craving getting out more this summer because I feel like I have been indoors a lot. Yeah, I'm really excited to go out today, but this is my little outfit and I did put on some makeup. It's kind of awkward because I'm going to the beach later, but I think I'm just gonna keep it on all day because if I like wash my face too many times in a day, it'll get irritated. So I'll just go to the beach with makeup on and if I swim, it'll come off, I'll bring like a wipe or something. Anyways, that's the vibe for today. I just made myself a coffee, iced coffee, and I'm just drinking the rest of it. Talia should be here any minute and then we're gonna record in the car just to switch up the vibe and we've been loving doing like we did one car chat and people really liked it so we're like why not do another one in the car it's supposed to be like 30 degrees which is really nice so i'm excited so yeah today is going to be a very fun day